This is a comparison between monopolistic competition and oligopoly. So, the product type under monopolistic competition is differentiated product, which means the product has little differences in terms of color, size, shape. Therefore, each company in monopolistic competition, they focus mainly on advertising and the brand loyalty in order to attract more customers. For oligopoly, the product could be either undifferentiated or differentiated, which means either it's identical, homogeneous, or it could be heterogeneous. They have little differences. The barriers to entry for monopolistic competition is very low, while for oligopoly, it's very high. The number of firms in monopolistic competition, they are large, while for oligopoly, they are small, between 2 to 10. Therefore, if we have two firms in oligopoly, this is called duopoly. For monopolistic competition and oligopoly, both of them has some control over prices, because in monopolistic competition, they provide differentiated product. In oligopoly, we have only few firms. Therefore, both of them are price makers. Information availability. For monopolistic competition, we have relatively good information. It's still imperfect. While for oligopoly, we have asymmetric information, which means imperfect information. Our long run profit for monopolistic competition is normal profit, which we call it zero economic profit. While for oligopoly, it is economic profit, which we call it supernormal or abnormal profit. Some examples of monopolistic competition are books, CDs, movies, and clothes, because they have differences. And we have many sellers. While for oligopoly, it will be airlines. We have only few airlines. We have few banks, soft drinks such as Coca-Cola and Pepsi, large supermarkets such as Coles and Woolies. So all these are examples of oligopoly.